You think when the astronauts landed on the moon, they had to fight off giant dinosaurs? Giant ones? Yeah. What makes you think there were ever dinosaurs on the moon? Duh. How else would they have gotten to Earth? Um, Sanford? Dell? Joe? Oh, God. What now? The corridor meeting is about to begin. Did Todd say so? That's me. I'm Todd. Doesn't ring a bell. Your resident advisor. I uh, helped you move in. Uh, you asked me if my hair was cotton candy? Oh, yeah. Is it? Again, no. Well, why not? Anyway, the meeting is starting at, uh, five minutes ago. Oh, God, what kind of example am I setting? Who was that guy? I don't know. Ask that guy. Welcome to our first corridor meeting. I'd like to go over some ground rules. College! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Tools. I've posted them again because somebody burnt down the copy that was on the bulletin board. I added a new one that says no list burning. College! If you need to find me, just check this board. If I'm in class, the happy face will be in the space marked at class. You're gonna need to know this. Okay. If I'm in my room, the happy face will be here. Where are you now? I'm in the corridor, but please hold your questions until... Well, which box is that? There's no box for that. So for all we know, you're not even here right now. No, I'm here. Oh boy, I'm way off script at this point. This is not the proper evacuation procedure. Hey, if I were you, I'd put down that beer. If you were me, you'd be drunk. And why should I listen to a drunk? I listened to a drunk for 15 years. Then his heart exploded. His cold, black heart. Uh, it's my third grade ballet recital all over again. <laughs> and then the meeting ended with some fat kid stepping on my groin. Is that why you talk like that? Like what? Never mind. Listen, man, the guys on your floor aren't going to respect you if they think you're a geek. You gotta be cool. You mean cooler? Yes. Much, much cooler. If you're busy, I could come back. No, Whitey was just leaving. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I have to counsel a resident. But there aren't any girls on your floor. One's gonna be in about five minutes. They say the clothes make the man, so I need to find a cool t-shirt. Uh, Olympic beer drinking team. Eh, too competitive. Make seven? What does that mean? Up yours? <laughs> Touche shirt. I walked right into that one. Here's the one for me. If this doesn't make me cool, then I don't know what will. Using a hot plate to make soup in the dorm. Don't worry, guys. I'm cool. I won't call the fire marshal. Uh, I don't know what stings more. The rejection of my residence or the bisque in my eye. It's the bisque. Are you really the ultimate party machine? No, not really. Then isn't that like false advertising or something? Well, I did have a party once, but when I blew out the candles on my cowboy cake, my hair caught fire. Sweet. You should have another party like that. You know, where you set your hair on fire. But my hair is my best feature. Okay, fine. I just thought it would be cool, that's all. Wait, you think it'll be cool? Then I will have a party. I gotta go address the invitations. I knew studying calligraphy wasn't a waste of time.
Now, I only wish my father had lived to see this day, so I could rub his nose in it. I wish I had money for one of these. My body is craving one. It's like in the wild when a bear craves a monkey, but there aren't any around because it's molting season. What are you talking about? I'm talking about being hungry, Joe. Something you wouldn't know anything about, rich boy. I'm paying my own way through school, and I got a scholarship. My parents couldn't afford a fancy scholarship. I'm having a party in my room. Here's your invitation. I'm so sick of you people thinking college is one big party. But I thought parties were cool. Oh, I can't win. They are cool. This is too much of an emotional roller coaster. My lung can't take it. Nothing says cool college party like finger sandwiches. That's safe. Boy, I was right on that one. Look at these tiny sandwiches. I feel like a giant. <coughs> oh my god. Heimlich maneuver. Heimlich maneuver. Rosie! Well, I'll put it out with this bug spray. Oh my god! Outstanding party. But my poster... Really? Do you think the party's outstanding? Are you calling me a liar? I'll kill you, you Trisket. Wow. I finally lived up to my shirt. Yeah, Todd. You're the man. Todd! 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 Todd, Todd, Todd hey, everybody! Todd, Check out my six-pack! Beer? My daddy calls it beetle juice. Here, catch! It's against the rules to bring alcohol into the dorm. Oh, that don't sound like the ultimate party machine. Have one. But I've never had a beer in my life. He's not as cool as we thought. This is not outstanding. I mean, um, I never had a beer I didn't like. Todd, 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 I guess one beer couldn't hurt. Three days without an accident. Mm, that's a new record for barter. My God! I can't believe a drunk just fell out of a window. The college is turning into Hyannisport. This student's RA is going to get the chair! Uh, I'm the RA. You see, this is what happens when you have to hire based on quotas. Damn albino pressure groups. Until you're clean and sober, you are hereby relieved of duty!